So in the classroom, students each have their own um, HP tablet, PC, uh, which they take out of the cupboard and sit down and open that up and log on. And then we connect to students using um, Dino software, uh, which gives them the um, ability to basically join my session. Uh, so while they're in the classroom, they have the ability to write math, uh, which we feel is a feature that is very important because for students to learn math, that's their most common or most familiar form of being able to learn math. Well, I had one student that said to me, um, you teach a subject that I don't really care about, which is mathematics. Actually, he outright said he hated math um, on something that I really love, which is technology. And so you've engaged me. Um, and he actually did very, very well on the course. So um, he said this was the first time he'd ever been successful at mathematics in a long time. Students need to be able to apply what they're learning in a mathematics course to their real life or else they really won't care what they're learning about. I have something that I call a mental moment and um, we all need them. When you're doing something really intense, when you're in it and um, you know you start to sort of feel overloaded like we sometimes do if we're doing something really important in math, I tend to take a little break. And in that break, I encourage them to talk about um, something that they did or something that they've thought about or something that I've done and I'll bring it up and I'll start and instigate a conversation amongst us all because it makes it even more relevant. Um, they're sharing something. It becomes interesting. Um, it's something that they have in common. It's not mathematics anymore. It's just a topic that they can talk about. It takes away that fear, that block, that wall um, that they have and they can just chat about it like they're talking about what they read on TMZ. It's the same thing. For me, like you know, I teach the foundational math, so I teach, you know, pre-business, pre-health, uh, pre-tech, and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm starting off with basic numeracy. So in that case, pretty well everybody's had life experience that sort of, where they got to a situation where they weren't too sure how to calculate it or what to do, and sort of the frustration and embarrassment. So, you know, for my students, I think they get an automatic buy-in that they would like to be better at, at you know, what we're, what we're learning, which is the basic numeracy. So it, for me, I think that they do have the buy-in. So what I end up saying to them is, you know, when, like we're gonna start back to when you were maybe this tall, right? <laughs> so when you were like nine, and we're gonna start at that point, and we're gonna take you through your entire math journey um, in the class. And now you're much older, you have a lot more life experience, which means that you know, now's your opportunity. So I, I try to get them to buy in and in that, you know, this is an amazing opportunity for everybody in this classroom to go on the journey of learning how, like to finally clear up all those misunderstandings. Every class I've taught in the last 10 years, I always do group work. I put quest a question on the board and we do it together then they do the rest of the questions in groups. If there are four students in a group, they're not afraid to ask each other, well, what did she mean by that? So it's interacting through mathematics, but as a person, they are achieving a lot more than mathematics. They're communicating, they're networking, they're engaged, they're learning, they have to learn before you can teach. So that's what they're doing. Because you're working in groups and they are engaging with each other. I'm just going around making sure that each group is doing well and are understanding. So if they have a question as a group, no one is singled out, they help each other. They are each other's mentors. I've always believed that connecting with other people is a very important part of life and education. So because of the interaction that happens in the classroom, mathematics is more of a community type of um, course. Um, and they, they, because they're working with other students, students can share screens and so on. They work with their partner a lot more. They work in small groups a lot more. So I see them outside in the hallways working and, and carrying on what they've started in the class. So um, the class has kind of just been the starting point of, of more of their learnings. We see having the technology has been a catalyst. Um, next semester, starting in the fall of 2014, our entire school will be a BYO tablet, so bring your own tablet. 
you know, I always say like when you're playing the piano, right? There's there's something that takes a lot of work. Um, but at the same time, you, you get a kid playing the piano, they're making notes. They don't just like, oh yeah, I suck at this. And then away they go, you know? Um, they, they would actually know intuitively that they've got to spend more time with it before they can play that guitar or play the piano. Um, so getting them to understand that, you know, sometimes that's true with math as well. Um, that doesn't mean that you're going to be, you know, an excellent guitarist in the long run, but obviously as you spend more time, you're going to get better and better at it. Um, so, so there's sort of that expectation that you would need to, to do that. But it steamrolls. You know, that's the thing is, is, is getting them hooked on that joy, that satisfaction, that it was really tough, but I got through it. What we can do to help a student master mathematics outside of the classroom, because we do have that limited time, is to do what we do when we have them relate to it in the classroom. Um, to spark that memory of, I did this or I talked about this when we were doing fractions or when we were doing algebra, when we were doing payroll, when we were doing simple interest. Um, because then it, it, it becomes a part of that moment. And if you have enough of those moments outside of the classroom, they add up to hours and hours of mathematics outside of just that classroom setting. Um, and it's our job to instill those moments in their minds and to have that little flash go off uh, when they have a memory um, or a, a real life experience that relates to something that we talked about.